So now I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to reflect any shape in a diagonal mirror line without using any tracing paper. So let's look at example one. So we need to reflect this triangle in this diagonal mirror line. The best way to do it is to turn your page around so the mirror line is directly in front of you. So if you just turn it around like this. So what you need to do is count the distance of each corner to the mirror line and it's going to be the same distance on the other side of the mirror line. So let's start with the easiest point of all which is this corner here. So this point here is on the mirror line so it will stay still. So let's do the next point. So let's do this one. So let's count how far it is to the mirror line. So we have to go perpendicular to the mirror line, so at right angles. So you need to count across the corners of the squares. Whatever you do, don't follow the lines. Go from corner to corner. So it's one, two. So it'd be two away from the mirror line. So one, two. So we've got our final corners to reflect, which is up here. So again, go from corner to corner. Um, stay perpendicular to the mirror line. So let's go one, two, two and a half. So it's going to be two and a half away from the mirror line. A half, one and a half, two and a half. So once you've done your three corners, just join them up neatly using a ruler. And that's our first reflection done. So let's move on to example two. So in this one we need to reflect this time a quadrilateral in the diagonal mirror line. So again let's turn the page around so the mirror line is directly in front of you. So again you need to count the distance the shortest distance to the mirror line and it's the same distance on the other side so we need to do it perpendicular to the mirror line. So let's do this corner here first because this one's the easiest. So it's one squ square to the mirror line. So it's going to be one on the other side of the mirror line. Let's do this corner next. This is one and a half. So on the other side it'll be one and a half. So a half, one and a half. Let's do this corner here. This one is one two, two and a half, so on the other side it'll be a half, one and a half, two and a half, and the most difficult corner is this one, so again just count the distance directly to the mirror line, so it's one, two, three, four, so it's four on the other side, one, two, three, four, so again just join the points up using a ruler. And just take one final look to make sure it looks okay. So this one looks fine. So thanks for watching.